Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So as you can see in front of me, I have a big box. Yay! This is my Blitzy order and I have been looking into Blitzy for a little while trying to decide if it was worth it or not worth it um, to purchase off Blitzy. To give you a background, Blitzy is a American craft retailer, online retailer. Um, they're based out of Chicago, so all this has come from the States. What I loved about their website when I first got there is that it actually knows I'm in Australia and it converts everything to Australian dollars, tells you everything you need to know in Australian dollars. So even though you are buying from the States, it's telling you everything in Australian. So I'm gonna go through everything I bought with you really quick, well, not really quick, I'll give you a bit of in-depth stuff about it. But as we go along, I'm going to tell you how much it cost from Blitzy how much I can buy it for in Australia, both at an online retailer if I can, um, and at Spotlight or another bricks and mortar, I guess, um, store if I can. Some of this you can't. So we'll just go through this together. I think it might be easier if I unpack it and then bring it in bit by bit to show you. So I haven't exactly spent no money. I've spent a bit here, but all of it is stuff that I kind of needed to have, so it's okay. So we're going to start off with the items that you can't buy anywhere else. So the first thing I got are these stamps. I have been enjoying using monthly stamps and weekly stamps in my planner a lot more recently. I didn't go there looking for these stamps. It was just something that needed to jump into my cart because I was about $10 shy of my $100 budget that Ryan gave me and I figured this would be a good way to bring it up. So these were $11.29. So I did go looking for these both at Craft Online and at Spotlight and I couldn't find anything similar. The best comparison I've got is with the Kaiser Craft stamps. They've got uh, days of the week stamps and then monthly stamps uh, that are $8, I think they're $8.49 each. So somewhere it's sort of like around $9, um, but you only get one set. So if you're comparing the two, which is about as close as I can, I think this is really good value at $11. Uh, to be able to get all of them in the same font is fantastic. That's something that sometimes really bugs me with a lot of stamps when you buy days of the week and you can't get the month names in the same font. Um, so I'm really happy to have all of this all together in the same font. The next one that I got that is not available in any store that I can find, and I know I've been buying a lot of washi tape lately, but to be fair, I bought these ones before I bought my Spotlight ones, um, which I'll link down below for you. So in that video, I told you that I'm desperately seeking some navy blue washi tape. And when I saw this online, I thought that was close. It's not as close as I want it to be. It's far too blue. And that was the main reason I got it. But also the color, color combination in this is just really pretty. I like the stripes. This entire thing of washi tape, there's 12 lots of washi tape here. Cost me $23, $23.86. I'll be really specific the whole way through. If I'm being deadly honest, I probably shouldn't have got this one. This is probably the only thing in my cart that I regret. And that's only because this shade isn't right. If that was the right navy blue, it would be worth it. And yes, I realize that I'm buying $28 worth of washi tape for one thing of washi tape, but that's how badly I want navy blue at this point. So this is by Doodlebug. That's the brand of the washi tape. Um, I know Craft Online does stock Doodlebug, but I could not find it on their website at all. So I can't compare that to anything. The only thing I guess I can compare it to is like the Spotlight washi tapes. You get nine in there. You can get different. You don't get as many rolls, obviously, but they are thicker. And they do look awfully similar. You can do the stripies as well. And they're $20. So $4 more, $3, three more rolls of washi. I don't know how you want to compare that one, but that was another one. The rest of this I can compare most of the time to something else in Australia. So the first one is this tube of mink paper. So I think I've mentioned probably four or five times that I am experimenting a little bit with foiling and how that works and if I have to have a mink machine to do it. I really love the colors in this and I love the fact that I don't have to buy a whole big roll. The whole big rolls when you buy them from Spotlight cost you $20. You can't buy the little ones from Spotlight um, at the store. You can buy these from Craft Online and they're $9.99. From Blitzy, I got it for $5.49 and there's just two little rolls there so I can play with that a bit more. I feel like I'm not wasting as much. Like if my whole big thing with foiling doesn't work, I haven't wasted as much with this as I perhaps with have with my silver 
gold and teal rolls that I've built bought um, I will be doing a video on how to get them how you can use foiling not with a mink machine I'm, every time I go to film it I find something else out so that's why I haven't done it yet but it is coming up as soon as I possibly can the next thing I'll show you them together could well kind of the reason I bought this this is the thing that started the whole blitzy thing was because I burnt the living crap out of my arm a few weeks ago and one of my fantastic subscribers mentioned that I should get the mat so I went to look for the mat the mat at spotlight is $49.99 which I think is ridiculous for something that is just I'll show you exactly what it is it's just a heat proof mat slightly more floppy than the mats I guess that I use for like my paper crafting and stuff this is obviously not designed to be cut but it has this little pocket thing here and you can't really see it um, when it sits properly with this camera but I'll show you a video of it I'll put it up on the thing but it basically means your fuse tool can sit down out of the way. This is heat proof, so you're not gonna burn the crap out of your arm. And this isn't going to damage as easily as some of my other cutting boards. So the whole reason I bought all of this was for this, because I flat out refused to pay $49.99 for this at Spotlight. You can buy it at Craft Online for $30.99, which I thought was better. But then when I saw the Blitzy price of only $19.84, I'm like, I'm sorry, why do you want me to pay twice as plus more spotlight for the same darn thing so I was very very happy to get this from uh, from Blitzy and that was sort of yeah where the whole thing started was from that so that's really exciting to have and I can't wait to see how that works I will do a full review of that map um, a little bit later on when I've actually had a chance to use it and the other thing I bought to go with my fuse tool are these decorative fuse tool tips with this, you do get an, a spare one of your cutter and a spare one of your current fuse. So they're just the same ones you get when you buy your fuse tool. These two, though, are decorative ones. So you've got um, diagonal lines. And then I think I think those are diamonds or scallops or something like that. But I'm really, really excited to have a play with these. These ones cost me on Blitzy with 10 16 Can't buy them at Spotlight. And they're $15.49 at Craft Online. So there's a bit of a saving there. Definitely not as big as some of the other bits and pieces but I was really happy to get that for basically ten dollars so this one's a different kind of one again I've been telling you guys I'm gonna buy a new trimmer for ages I'm actually gonna take this out of the box to sort of show you so this is the new we are memory keepers dial trimmer I have wanted a new trimmer for a couple of months so that was half the reason to get this Ooh. I haven't even pulled it out of the box yet this is the first time I'm pulling it out so what I loved about how this worked and I will do a full review of this when I've had a chance to play with it um, so you've got your full sturdy kind of board or trimmer blades there so it doesn't lift up and down like my Fiskars ones does but there's six different blades here so you've got your regular blade you've got your score I'm uh, not scoring perforated blade and then you've got your wavy blade I will find exactly what these are called because I don't know what they're called um, you've got so you've got your cut your score your perforate your decal which I think must be that one you got your wave and then you've got your scallop so it just gives some extra decorative edges I guess to all of my cutters cuttings it does also have oh come on I know it's here the extra bit to be able to cut your 12 by 12s a bit easier and I did just love the way that this and I haven't used it enough yet so I don't know how it works properly um, but they just flip around like this and you can just drag it down and use it that way I really like this I thought it was a really great idea I was looking at the trim and scoreboard from we are memory keepers to replace my trimmer and that was when I came across this one and decided this one was probably going to be better value and I would get more out of it so on Blitzy, this cost me $31.45. It is not available at the moment on Craft Online. It is sold out. But when it comes back, it's only going to be $38.99. So there's not a big difference there. Um, it isn't yet available at Spotlight. But what I will say is that you can compare this to the other one that We Are Memory Keepers brought out another one that had like um, very similar. They had the different blades all through here. But you had different 
like it, they were magnetic so you sort of put them the same sort of way you use on the um, the uh, tab punch board that it sort of comes in and out and it's just magnetic so you had the six different blades and they sort of popped in like a magnet and that one which is still available at Spotlight, Spotlight is $59.99 so as far as I would be assuming uh, they would be basically the same price so if you're gonna pay $60 or you're gonna pay $30 I know which one I'm gonna do so in total everything I bought cost me $102.09 that is Australian money and that cost me nothing for shipping because once you spend over I think it's 68 I'll double check for you um, but you spend over a certain amount for Blitzy and you get free shipping to anywhere so I'm just waiting for my internet to load up and I can tell you exactly what that is um, craft online also does free shipping over $50 so it's not like it's a unknown thing um, 6241 if you spend over 6241 on Blitzy it's free to Australia so that's fantastic like $62 I could do that in my sleep I don't even need to think about it so obviously it's still a minimum spend to get the free shipping but if you're gonna spend you know buy this if you're gonna buy your fuse mat you're suddenly very close to $60 anyway so it, it's it's pretty good especially to come from as far away as it did so when it comes to how long it takes to get to you I ordered this exactly two weeks ago today it took two weeks to get from Chicago to Melbourne and I think that is fantastic for free shipping for everything that's going on in the states weather wise at the moment to get stuff out of there I think it's bloody amazing even though I realize that Chicago is on the other side of the country to where all the hurricanes and stuff are but still to get it out is pretty darn good um, and to, for it to be free as well as being so much cheaper than everything else I think is fantastic so I will definitely be using Blitzy again the next time I need to buy something bigger the only thing I'm wary of, I wouldn't buy anything from Blitzy that had a power cord. And that's just because I don't understand the whole conversion thing. It makes me a bit more worried. Anything that doesn't have power, I think is a safe bet. Everything else, I'd probably just be a little bit worried about having. Uh, but other than that, Blitzy and I are going to be very good friends. I can feel it coming already. Let me know down below if you've ever bought anything from Blitzy, what you've bought and how you found your experience. I'd love to hear um, how it went for you and if you liked it or if you didn't You can leave that down below or you can leave it on any of my social medias Which I also link down below as well Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy if you did find it useful I will be doing full reviews of the trimmer the mat and the Extra tips to my fuse tool as soon as I get a chance to use them So stay tuned for that make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those when they do go up other than that, I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome, awesome day and I will see you again really, really soon. Thanks a lot.